After you add quest system to your project, you will have two folders, quest system and your project folders. As an example, I will use a third person template. With zone game mode, player character, player controller, HUD widget and the AI classes. Let's copy widgets from my HUD widget to your HUD widget. I create HUD widget in player controller class at begin play. You can use my HUD widget if you want. Let's copy some logic from my player controller to your player controller. Copy managers. Quest manager and track manager have settings. Now we need add and implement interfaces. I use Raycast by Visibility Channel to get target in front of character. Here I use game instance to load player location at begin play. And also we need to initialize managers after HUD is created. Copy all the rest logic from event graph. You will need to replace some references if you use your own HUD widget. Copy some logic from my player character to your player character. For saving and loading I use game instance and save game classes. If you don't have these classes you can use mine. Just open project settings, maps and mods and set my game instance. If you have these classes, you need to copy all logic from save game class and game instance class. Don't forget to add and implement interfaces. Most likely in your project you use your own AI class. I don't know how exactly you spawn AI in the world. 
I do it with a spawner and spawn points. With them I can spawn the eye when I really need it. If you want you can use your eye and my spawners. In spawn point settings I set needed the eye. At first we need to replace references in spawn point. Open my AI parent class, open your AI parent class. Copy spawn point variable. Enable instance editable and expose on spawn parameters. After this we can replace references. Copy widget components. Add and implement interfaces. You can copy logic from my AI class. Set default values for marker variables. In this project I use boolean variable to determine if AI is a vendor. You can enable it by default for your vendor class. You can copy some logic for movable and attackable AI. Make sure that Sphere Collision blocks trace responses by Visibility Channel. I use Raycast by Visibility Channel in Player Controller. 
If you want to use navigation in Rocker Future, you need to open project settings and change some parameters. AI will be Invoker. Navmesh will be generated dynamically around Invoker. Let's check results, but before this we need to set level data. At first, world map will use this data to convert world position to map position. Also, we will use this data to create map texture. Relative to x-axis, this is upper left corner. Place world map capture to create map texture. You can remove capture. If you want, you can place teleport. Player will appear in this location when uh, teleporting from a cave. Be sure to set your game mode. 